Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Coach Lilia. I am a relationship coach and a narcissist abuse survivor. And today I want to talk to you about female narcissists, okay? I don't think we talk about this topic enough. And I know that men go through this domestic psychological narcissistic abuse just as much as women do. But unfortunately, don't, men don't talk about this enough because they are shamed. So let's shine a light on female narcissists and let's talk about the five main manipulation tactics that a narcissistic woman will use to psychologically abuse her men. Okay, let's go. Number one is the silent treatment. This is the favorite tactic that a narcissistic woman will use against her guy. She will treat him with this for days, weeks, or months at a time. This is the form of punishment, okay? She's punishing you for something that you did or did not do by withholding, by not talking to you. And this is very sadistic, okay? She might even take off for a few weeks or months and turn off her phone and not let you know where she's at, come back like nothing happened, and you will feel like that's what you deserve. You will do anything. You will beg her to talk to you because that's how psychologically abusive this is, okay? Now, she might also do something where she will completely not acknowledge your existence and even talk to you through a third party that you have at home. Not necessarily a person, maybe a dog or a cat so that you feel even lower, okay? Terrible, sadistic, abusive. Number two is the fact that she's going to withhold the love and affection from you whenever she feels necessary. She can do this again for weeks, months at a time, and you're going to feel like you're deserving it. What is the message she's trying to send across to you here? Well, the fact that you clearly did something wrong or you didn't do something and now you don't deserve her love and affection until you are submissive to her. Number three, guilt tripping, okay? This is probably the most powerful tactic. Why? Because as you feel guilty, as you feel like you're the problem, you don't see the deception, okay? You don't see the fact that she's manipulating you. And she's gonna do this in two ways, okay? Whether you're gonna feel like you are the problem, that you owe her something, or she's gonna make you feel like she can't do anything without you. She's gonna make you pity her. So this is, again, very powerful. Men, remember that guilt and obligation does not equal love. And if your partner is making you feel guilty, something's wrong. It's probably abuse and you don't see it. Number four, probably the most cruel tactic, okay? This is where she shames you, humiliates you, emasculates you, okay? Now, how is she going to do it? She might start making cruel jokes about you. She might start making passive aggressive remarks. Maybe she's going to fake being concerned and you're going to be sitting there all confused like, is my woman making fun of me? Is she being cruel to me? Or does she actually care? You're going to be so confused. And of course, this can also be disguised as what's called triangulated comparison. So where she maybe compares you to her ex, whether it's sexually, whether it's career wise, and you're going to feel like a lesser human being because she's comparing you to somebody basically telling you that someone's better than you. So again, this is all aimed to basically break you down. And this is something that is very sadistic, okay? So a male narcissist wants control. Whereas a female narcissist, it's not just about control, it's also about being sadistic because she's actually enjoying this every moment of it as she's putting you through pain. And of course, gaslighting and projection, which is not just the female narcissist tactic, but used by all narcissists across the board, okay? So this is where they deny your sense of reality and you start to be all confused. You actually start to believe that something did or did not happen. Let's take, for example, cheating. You catch your woman cheating and then she will convince you that you actually cheated on her first and that she's just getting back at you for it okay or she'll convince you that it, it never even happened in the first place or my favorite is where you will call her out on being narcissistic on abusing you and she will actually convince you that you're the one that's abusing her psychologically and that you are the problem and you're actually the narcissist so there you guys have it. If you spot any of these manipulation tactics in your relationship, please know that it's not okay. You are being psychologically abused. You are being abused. This is narcissistic abuse and you need to make it stop. Once again, nothing to be ashamed of. Men go through this just as often as women do and it's okay to talk about it and it's okay to get help, okay? We all need to heal. Now, if you guys like this content, please go ahead and like this video and of course, subscribe to my channel. I am Coach Lilia and I will see you all in my next video.